Hi, welcome back. Uh, this is our second vlog, and I'm pleased to say it's actually from within our new caravan. So, uh, in the vlog, I'll be covering three things. First is our handover of the caravan when we bought it, when we finally got it. Next thing is I'll do a quick tour of the caravan, um, and then a very brief review of the site that we've actually got the van on at the moment. Uh, it's only a few miles from home, but uh, it's, it's given us the opportunity to uh, set it all up and iron out any problems. So stay tuned and uh, I'll get back to you in a minute. So the handover. have to say it wasn't a terribly uh, good experience. In fact, it was very disappointing. Um, I suppose the problem is that we've been prevaricating now for over two years about uh, buying a caravan, uh, what sort of uh, van we should get or whether we should get something else. So anyway, we finally made up our mind and uh, put a deposit down and waited five weeks for the van. And in the meantime, you're, you're building up all sorts of hopes and expectations about getting your new van. Uh, and when the handover isn't terribly good, it, it's, it's disappointing. It takes the edge off it. So I suppose first thing is I know that the dealers are very busy at the moment and our dealer is doing at least three handovers a day. Um, and they've been doing that for quite a while now. So they are very, very busy. And I think they can lose sight of um, how important the day is to their customers. Um, so let me run through what uh, what we found disappointing about the day. Uh, I won't mention the dealer because I've, I've actually written a letter of complaint. I don't do that very often, but uh, I did in this case. I wrote, wrote a letter of complaint and sent it off. So I'll give them the opportunity to reply before I do anything else. And uh, But anyway, here's, here's the problems we experienced. And... I suppose anybody else who's buying any caravan, particularly the same model as ours, there's things that you've got to look out for. Um, Dan Trudgeon put something together about his caravan experience and uh, what to look out for. And I suppose that helped us uh, to actually look quite keenly when we, uh, when we were shown round. First one is that the panel in the shower uh, wasn't sealed properly. So anybody taking a, a shower the water would have leaked uh, down the back of the panel um, and obviously with damp issues that's not a good thing and the other one was it's something that um, several people have pointed out is the uh, the bed at the front uh, the slats are not uh, not the best uh, and to check those to make sure they're working okay well ours were jam solid there's no way we could get even get them out um, so those are things I think should have been picked up uh, with the pre-delivery inspection. The other problem we had was that we took out a, or we purchased um, a buyer uh, pack, a starter pack, when we bought the caravan and we put the deposit down, uh, which included things like the aqua roll and the Wastemaster. Uh, so we were fully expecting those to be with the caravan when we bought it. Um, and we get to the dealers and they say, oh, sorry, there's no waste master or, or aqua roll. So we hope you're not planning to go away anywhere. Well, most people, when they get the new caravan, it's the first thing they want to do. So that was really disappointing uh, that they hadn't got those uh, ready for us. Um, and when we said we, we fully intended to go away in a couple of days, they said, well, we're expecting some in, but I've heard that before. We're expecting some in. Um, but there's always go outdoors, which is just down the road. Now, to my mind, if we'd purchased those, it shouldn't have been us that was going around trying to uh, find them. It should have been them. They should have done that for us, uh, but they didn't. So anyway, we were unable to take the caravan, uh, but there was still an outs outstanding payment to make. And uh, blow me, the, the payment system wasn't working. Uh, so we were sat there for over an hour while they tried to take our money uh, which was not nice uh, and I know there's, there's restrictions on at the moment with Covid etc etc but uh, there was no coffee or anything else uh, while we were waiting there but we eventually 
came up with a solution themselves for transferring the money through to directly to their account um, and uh, they said they would get back to us to confirm it had gone in okay so that we could get home uh, but they didn't so we were chasing them up the next day to actually make sure that the payment had gone through okay and again several times I've rung the dealer asking to speak to people who were unavailable and they said well we'll get them to get back to you and, and nobody ever did so that side of their customer relationship is not terribly good anyway I'm sure that'll fade into the background in a in a, <laughs> in a few weeks time um, but it does take the shine off you know it's not very often you spend 20 grand and you sort of expect them to to make it a, a nice experience when they take, them, take your money off you so anyway we've got the van now um, we're going to go away tomorrow uh, to Aesgarth Falls I keep saying that but we're going away to Aesgarth Falls and um, so that's that's something we're really looking forward to even though the weather now it's chucking it down pretty miserable but anyway just to get away and uh, try out the new caravan and find out what uh, what we need to buy because we're first timers so we, we know there's things we're going to need and this few days away will give us the opportunity to find out so tour of the van so this is the front lounge area um, and the view out over rainy North Lincolnshire uh, I'll show you the issue with the, the bed slats if you what was actually happening was we were getting that far getting the bed slats out and it wouldn't go any further in fact uh, but now pleased to say they do come out most of most of the way there we go so they're still jamming a bit uh, but hopefully uh, we'll be okay uh, I think one of the issues is that when you push the thing back in the uh, strap that's underneath tends to come up the way um, rather than drop down and when that happens that may, might be white to uh, white actually traps white yeah white jams yeah you can see that's not really Still not working properly but I'll have a look at that in a minute oh gosh never mind uh, so anybody buying a Bailey Phoenix or any other yeah so that's something you need to check out make sure it's working hopefully that'll uh, wear in and we'll be okay in a few few weeks time after a few trips All right, so a little bit of gentle persuasion and I finally got it uh, got it home so North Lincolnshire you can of oh they you know, just see it across there there's the Humber Bridge in the distance right so this is the kitchen area square sink we've got a square bowl which just about fits in there but it's a bit tight uh, nice cooker four gas burners uh, top folds down for traveling uh, a bit short on the old uh, worktop space but uh, I'm sure we'll get around that and on the opposite side we have nice fridge freezer and microwave uh, one of the things we've we had a couple of extra bits and pieces done uh, by the dealer you know when we ordered and one of them was to actually have a solar panel fitted so there's actually a solar panel on there and in here we have the indicator and the panel for the uh, solar panel okay so there we have the lounge kitchen area so we move into the bathroom now And the offending bit of sealant was on that bottom step there. Uh, so in the left-hand side, 
the panel wasn't actually secure to the wall and the sealant was was uh, therefore unable to do its job anyway they fixed that now so uh, and they had to leave it 12 hours to set before they could move the van so the shower's there we haven't tried it yet and this was the the bathroom was one of the features that we really liked about the layout uh, because uh, we can actually shut off this door shut off the other door so that in actual fact you've got uh, the bathroom the bedroom area is completely isolated from the living room so uh, if somebody wants a lion they can have a lion and other person can get on with uh, on with their day so we have the toilet and wash basin cupboards below cupboards above and i'll avoid doing the andrew ditton thing um and there's the uh, yeah and into the bedroom So the bed is one that uh, actually pulls out. So you grab the bottom bit there, pull out, and uh, the bed becomes a full-size bed. Um, cupboard space, wardrobes, more cupboard space down the side. And another job we had done was it seemed to us a shame that uh, the socket, the power socket was on that side of the room I suppose that's just for the the TV uh, and there's no power socket on this side but there's like a vanity unit there so we actually had a socket fitted on the side of the vanity unit so I can use a hairdryer etc okay oh dear must lose some weight right so that's the uh, that's the bedroom so the final bit of this vlog is I'll just give you a very brief introduction to the site we're actually on at the moment. Um, very quiet. In actual fact, when we look around for sites near us so we could uh, familiarise ourselves with the van, this was the only one we could actually get on. Um, and today we're the only caravan on the site. Uh, I don't know why. It's maybe a bit old school in as much as they've got one water tap, uh, one chemical disposal unit, um, and I think there's about nine hookups, uh, yeah, nine, nine sockets so you can hook up. So it's not, not an enormous site. Uh, maybe the biggest problem is that uh, it's on a hill, so it's not particularly flat. There's an area uh, as you come in, which is out like a hard standing area, uh, that we could have used I suppose uh, but in actual fact um, it's a bit near the road this is much more pleasant with the with the views um, the the guy who runs the site or owns the site is it's very pleasant I think it's called ranchers I know I'll put, I'll put a link on underneath to to confirm the date uh, confirm the site but it's actually a, a camping and caravan site only uh, so you have to be members of the Camping and Caravan Club to, to get on here, uh, which meant that uh, we were frantically joining the day before we, we came here. Um, but uh, I don't think it's a bad thing, actually, because looking around, there's there's three or four sites around here that we could potentially use, uh, which are only listed with the uh, Camping and Caravan Club. Very reasonable price. Lovely views, nice and quiet. Uh, and I suppose from anybody, for anybody coming from outside this area, um, if you're if you're looking to travel around North Lincolnshire, uh, maybe do a trip across to Hull, uh, York, Lincoln, they're all within an hour away from here. Um, so yeah, it's it's a nice little place for for touring around. The town itself, or the village or the town, the small town of Barton, actually has uh, some nice Indian restaurants. Uh, it's a good fish and chip shop takeaway. Um, there's the pub, the George, which actually does meals. Several pubs in the in the town. So, uh, yeah, nice little shopping centre. So, not a bad place to come. So you'll find plenty to do round about. There is a museum there, which is uh, called the Wilderspin Museum which actually looks at um, schools and uh, the Wilderspin School was one of the first ones 
um, which they encourage the children to play. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's quite an interesting museum to to have a look around. Yeah. Um, so that ends the vlog. Um, hopefully tomorrow we'll be on our way to Acegarth Falls um, and then we'll stay there for a few days and I will vlog again from there. So uh, hope you come with us for the journey. Um, thanks for people who've actually subscribed. Not many at the moment, but uh, a hardy band of caravanners have joined me. <laughs> so uh, thanks very much for joining, uh, subscribing. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like it. Um, put some comments on if you disagree with anything I've said. Uh, but uh, I think we'll be happy with the caravan. Just it says just that the bed issue is something we need to sort out. And uh, Pat's coming up today to. Where's well, Pat coming? Across, we're only four miles away. Pat's coming across today to to make it more homely, and uh, then we can get off. Thanks very much. Cheers. Goodbye. Well, since it's nearly stopped, it's just drizzling now. I'll give you a quick tour around the outside, and uh, so nothing major different on this side. We've got the fridge outlets, power outlet. Um, and down there we've actually the other job we had done was to have actually have a barbecue point uh, put in okay so we've got a barbecue point there and the little box next to the power inlet is is actually for the uh, motor mover so we've, we've actually got uh, we've got power we've got an evolution uh, power touch motor mover fitted uh, which is great especially when you're on a, on a hill like this okay so on the other side of the van I'll go around the back you can see at last we actually got uh, our waste master and aqua roll so we've got those fitted up uh, we had another issue with the hitch lock but that that's been resolved now. Quick tour around the site. So over here we have our water point, drinking water. In the far corner over there. And zoom in. That's the chemical toilet disposal. And I think this caravan belongs to the owner. It's not seen anybody else staying in there. Okay, and the motorhome belongs to the owner as well. It's a very small site, as you can see. So anybody wanting a hard standing area, there's actually quite a large hard standing area here. So you can use that with power over there. But the only issue here is is onto quite a busy road over here it's quite a busy road okay there ends the tour